Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. It's just things to eat. The popcorn can't be beat. The sparkling drinks are just dandy. The chocolate bars and the candy. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Dollar Tree Theater. Today we are reviewing King of the Zombies, as I am down to just two films. After this one will be one film left from the 16 Horror Monster Pack. King of the Zombies is a 1941 film. It gets a 5.3 on IMDb. It is one hour and six minutes long. You have these two passengers being flown by a pilot. Now as they come across this island somewhere in the mounts of Cuba and Ecuador, they are getting really weird signals and they have to down the plane. Now in the process of downing the plane, they get into an accident onto this remote island. Now on this remote island, there are these different types of people that are there, or particularly a doctor that is using voodoo rituals to control people, turning them into zombies. Now, um, after they've crashed, they're in this grave site, and they're trying to get their drillers to figure out, how the hell did we get here? What are we doing here? How do we get out of here? What can we do to get out of here? And they stumble upon this doctor who basically entraps them into this, like, tomb slash mansion-like area and there's women there and different types of people that are zombified they call it in the film now this is one of the first original films to ever get an actual academy award based on the score of the film there was a lot of different things in the film different scores different drum lines and things that were pretty cool but i didn't think there was anything overly aesthetic making me say oh man the score of this film is unbelievable but um, initially this film was just supposed to be a straight horror film. But then another film came out with Bob Hope prior to this film. And they said, you know what? Let's go ahead and make this a horror comedy. And they added in a character named Jefferson Jackson to the film. Who, in my opinion, stole the movie. Just like Rob Van Dam, he was the whole effing show in this movie. His comedical role was hysterical otherwise i felt like the film was kind of boring to be honest with you other than the comedical parts now the doctor is using voodoo that he's learned from different high priests to zombify people to get them to do his bidding and the basic premise is they have to find a way out of this tomb and get past this doctor a creative ending a creative decision in the end of the film makes it work uh, let me give you my thoughts on King of the Zombies. Uh, this one, to me, was a snoozer for a while. Kind of a slow burn. And then the comedical parts start to happen with Jefferson Jackson. He gets between two zombies and says, Hey guys, I'm one of you now. As there was a thwart to try to trick the doctor into making people think he was a zombie too. Hysterical. Just hysterical. I did like some of the overall aesthetic, and at the very end of the film, I did like some of the character masks in the end of the film. Some of them kind of look like Kamala's mask, you know, the Ugandan giant. Overall, this movie was fun. I wouldn't say that it's anything I rewatch, but today on Hobbs Horror, we're going to give this one a 3.5 out of 5 on the Bogland scale for King of the Zombies. Let me know your thoughts on King of the Zombies in the comments, and I will catch up with you later. Thanks for watching. Peace.